Tonight's episode of the Funny Box is sponsored in part by Butthurt Cream. Instant relief for your belief. Butthurt Cream. Good evening, everyone. We've been waiting for you. It's a work in progress. Oh, gee. Hold the phone. Oh, this is an unscheduled surprise. It's him. Oh, this young host has had a very trying career. And what with the litigation, the notoriety, his subsidiary deportation to Canada, and that country's refusal to accept him, well, I guess that's more than most hosts could handle. The penalty box for Cole Oakman starts right now. <laughs> Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to another episode of The Penalty Box with your host, Kalal Open. This is episode number two of the regular season here on LeagueGaming.com. As I previously reported, we were on a two-episode trial deal with LeagueGaming.com. We're looking to sign a long-term multimedia deal. Unfortunately, we have yet to see, receive any response from LeagueGaming.com. No deal has been reached yet. I know it's troubling. But relax, folks, we'll make the best of it. Hopefully, with your comments and your likes and your voices on LeagueGaming.com, on these forums that we love and, and just adore. They are beautiful, by the way. So is the stat system, but I'll get that in a second. Please leave comments. Tell LeagueGaming.com higher-ups that you want this show to stay. That you want the penalty box on LeagueGaming.com, your number one source for news that they won't give you. Kind of. <laughs> Your number one source for very opinionated uh, conversations with a couple F-bombs here and there. Yeah. It's entertainment, folks. That's what I do. I opine. I, this is a, an opinion show with facts, of course, but that's what we do here at the Polybox. So that's news item number one. News item number two. The season has started. By the time you watch this show, it could be possibly night number two in the new LG season. So far so good. Haven't heard any major complaints about the lag thing because we have more news on that as well. I have to commend Fox XI, a uh, Frost, Frost XI for doing his hard work and due diligence to figure out the root of the problem and bringing it to EA Sports' attention. Props out to you, my friend. But there's other information. For the first time in EA Sports' history, they have publicly announced What's... Oop, breaking news. I'll get to that in a second. They have publicly announced that there was an issue, and they have fired a developer because of it. We have obtained the identity of the developer that is supposed to be the cause of the problem. The one that, well, was very laxed in his role at EA Sports. Yeah, I did a little digging. This guy's track record is horrible. It is absolutely horrendous. That's coming up. That and a whole lot more coming up after this message. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back. As I said before, the EA Sports dev team has fired one of its developers in association to this lag controversy. 
The developer's name was none other than Rob. Yes, Technologic Disrepair was hired by EA Sports after he shut down that other website. He was fired because of his, well, expertise, if you will. He kept on saying to the developers, it's a work in progress. I'm working on it. It's going to be fine. There is no ice tilt. It's going to be fine. Anybody that mentions ice tilt is going to be banned. Anybody that mentions ice tilt will be banned. Anybody that mentions lag will be banned. That's all he did. Ban, 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 ban. Well, he's been shit canned. Rob, fuck you, you suck. Not only does this guy have a track record on other websites, but this guy was also hired by the Obama administration when they first rolled out Obamacare, healthcare.gov, dot whatever website. That crashed the day it came out. He was one of the developers and designers of that website, too. This guy's track record is horrendous. Ask any VHL survivor about this guy's track record, and you'll be amazed that this guy actually got a job in the technological world. I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, if you're watching this, bud, you're an asshole. I mean, I'm sorry. A spade's a spade. You gotta call a spade a spade. Uh, so that's that news on uh, EA Sports. For the first time in EA Sports history, they actually fired a guy. Um, yeah. Other news. Uh... There's plenty of, of interesting topics going on right now and who's leading the league in points and all this other nonsense. You can go look it up yourself on the new stats page. But... For those of you that are interested about highlighting other players, I have picked out a couple clips of an AHL game, and I have to say, we're going to crown this particular person Penalty Box Player of the Episode. Depends on how many episodes we do in a week, otherwise I'd call him Player of the Week, but we can't call him Player of the Week because we have no idea how many episodes we're going to do. This might be the last episode, so he's, he's Penalty Box Player of the Episode. That's the way that's written right here in the script. Yes, I actually have a script today. Anyways, he plays for the Hershey Bears. His name is Schultz C35. He's a goaltender. We have clips of that game coming up. But first and foremost, I have to say, I am proud to announce the first ever LeagueGaming.com Penalty Box Edition 2-Minute Minor coming up next. Don't go away. Tonight's episode of the Penalty Box is sponsored in part by Butthurt Cream. Instant relief for your belief. Butthurt Cream. Two Minute Minor. Tonight's Two Minute Minor. And it's this. The Two Minute Minor is titled, Pass the Fucking Puck, You Fucktard Forwards. Seriously, I have a game clip, which I'm about to show you, where you see number four from the Los Angeles Kings playing against the Detroit Red Wings on a power play, gains the zone on his right-hand side, comes down into the zone, does a little half circle, tries to force a pass to one of his teammates, another forward, who is literally two feet in front of him while there are Two defenders right on top of this guy's ass. If you look upper left-hand corner of this shot, you will see a wide open defenseman on the point. Wide fucking open. Instead of passing to the point and resetting the play on the power play, this particular fucktard decided to force a pass down low behind the net, gets tipped, turnover, out of the zone, he regroups, comes back, and as you can see in the video, options through the neutral zone. Out in the slot. Tip, tip by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. To coffee. They try to come back in the zone, turn over at center ice. Boom, Detroit's on its way to a shorthanded goal. All because of number four from the Los Angeles Kings being a fucktard. Options through the neutral zone. Out in the slot. Hit by the stick. That's just good fundamental defense. To coffee. Good work with the stick by UP. Great job to slip on by. Two on one. Gets by. Score! Coffee! Pass the fucking puck to the point. How hard is it for you fucking forwards to pass the puck to the point? They're not stupid back there. Obviously, defensemen, if you get the puck, you have two options. One, pass the puck and reset the play, or take a shot on net. If there is no shot and the guys you're going to be challenged, pass the puck, ring it around the boards, do something, keep it deep in the zone. But you forwards, you go down low by the net like that, down here in the corner, 
What do you expect? You're freaking swallowed up by the defense. You've got two guys on your ass. You're going to force a pass to another guy that's two feet in front of you. What, even if you made that pass, do you honestly think that he's going to do anything with the puck? you got two defenders on your ass. You're dumb. Absolutely stupid these days. Oh, and another thing. You fucking forwards. When the fucking goalie covers the puck and the whistle blows, there's no need to run him over. For God's sakes, quit fucking poking him. I'm serious. You, you, yeah. Anyways, this, the clip speaks for itself. I got multiple angles. Just roll the damn tape again. Watch this shit. From their own end of the ice. Keeps it going through the center zone. Drives to the net. And possession reestablished by Kane. Scooped up by Hannon. Used the stick well, didn't he? That one by UP. Nice fake. Shakes him loose. Two on one. He gets through. Score! Coffee! That's been the two minute minor. Fuck tards. We'll be right back with highlights from Hershey goalie Schultze X35 stacking the pads and making a couple key glove saves. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now here's some highlights of the Hershey Bears. They're playing against the Rockford Ice Hogs. And Hershey Bears goalie, Schultze, in net, is just comes under a barrage of shots at this particular sequence. And seriously, he's got a horseshoe stuck up his butt. This guy made some of the, the goofiest, yet luckiest saves, yet I have to give the guy credit. The guy give him balls for doing it. He fucking... Spreads the legs, does the, the spread eagle with the glove, and he stuffs a Rockford Ice Hog right wing on what looked like a pretty good sc uh, scoring chance. Roll the clip. That's all we have for tonight's show. Uh, recap, Rob was fired from EA Sports. Uh, Rob Stucks. Uh, we have yet to receive a contract from LeagueGaming.com. Please leave your name and comments in the boxes on the forums. Let them know that you're displeased with that effort and that you want Tris to sign a multi-year media deal, media rights deal with us here at the Penalty Box because we would love to continue to do what we do best on this website. This website's awesome. Can't say enough about it. So please leave your, a message and let them know that you want the Penalty Box to stay because we want to be here for you when the puck drops at Sunrise. We'll see you later. Good night. Fuck you, Techno.